Hey, Joel the Tender here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a vinyl plank up to a bathtub. A lot of times, what we're seeing nowadays is we're going to be able to install vinyl plank wherever we want in our house because it's waterproof. And so, what's becoming a popular item is installing vinyl plank into your bathroom, which I do in a lot of jobs that I have that I've been doing lately since vinyl plank has came out. Now vinyl plank is a great product and I would install that in your bathroom. Now laminate not so much. Now I will install laminate in a kitchen and if you get over in the wet area where the sink is you can just glue those joints to kind of waterproof it a little bit more but laminate is not a good option for inside a bathroom. Now if the toilet overflows you're gonna have problems. With a vinyl plank you won't. Now, now you might still need to tear the floor up but you're not going to wreck anything and also with water from a shower or whatever it's vinyl plank is going to hold up to those kinds of situations where a laminate over time might bubble in the joints and so you really want to stick with the vinyl plank if you're going to go with that type of flooring inside your bathroom and I get asked all the time how do I end my vinyl plank up against a bathtub well here you go Let's watch. Okay, so we have a bathroom here. I get asked a lot, what do I do in a bathroom along the tub? And I'm gonna show you in a minute, but you are gonna leave an expansion joint. It's just not gonna be the quarter inch that you normally would use. I use, I usually leave about an eighth inch and then I'll caulk along the tub and I'll explain a little more to you in a minute. Now, if you're doing a separate bathroom, you can go tight to the tub as long as you're loose on the other side, meaning you have a good gap on the other side. If one side is tight, it'll still move because the other side is, has the gap. But we're in a situation where we're flowing into the bathroom from the hallway. You can see right here, everything's connected. Now, if there was ever a problem with me going only an eighth inch from this bathtub, what we could do in the future is cut this floor in the doorway and put a T-mold. And so if you want to give this a try and see if it's going to work without having expansion and contraction, as long as you keep air conditioning going in your house in the summer, usually you don't have any issues with moisture. Now some places are different than others as far as moisture goes. This is a vinyl plank floor. If you're using laminate, I glue every joint inside this bathroom with wood glue. Run a bead of wood glue in the joint and then put it together just to make it a little more water resistant. Otherwise, just stay away from putting my own inside a bathroom. But I already over here you can see I'm gonna I'm, I already have my boards laying out what I'm gonna cut in. Now a lot of times this part of the wall is crooked. And so if you don't have your base on, a little trick you could do is just make sure that your sheetrock is up over here so you can slide under and then you'll cut your floor a little long or tight so that you can slide underneath that way and not, and then push it back this way and not be short on this wall. But I just, all I did is I took my boards, I put them together, I cut them. So now I'm just making sure that they're overlapping evenly. I want this to be a nice consistent joint. I'm still going to use the same cheater board that I've been using. And I'm just going to run it right along the tub. And when I cut this board, I'm going to leave the line on. When I cut it with my jigsaw. That's going to make sure that I'm not too far away. Where I don't have too big of a gap. Now again, remember, I like to leave a quarter inch gap if possible. There's not really a good solution to this without having a transition in the doorway. But I, I like to take the gamble of not putting the transition in the doorway, keep everything else gapped away the way it's supposed to be. Give yourself a good eighth inch along the tub, caulk that. And if, again, if you have any problems in the future, you can just cut the floor at the doorway to relieve the pressure and put a T-mold there. So I'll go cut this real quick and I'll show you what it's going to look like. Okay, you can see I went out and cut this. 
Now there's a couple of spots I'm still a little tight. Now all I'm going to do is take a pencil or a marker and I'm just going to run it along. And I'm going to shave a smidge more off. Now this is a vinyl plank, so the nice thing about a vinyl plank is I can use a utility knife for this. And I'm just going to score it off. Another trick you can use is just angle the backing in. Don't cut into the front part, but the backing. And then you don't have as much to cut. You can just shave right along the edge. Where you marked that with that pencil. So check it again. That looks like it's going to be pretty good. I might shave a little right there, but that's basically how I'm going to probably leave it there. But I'm not, what I do want to show you is I do like to, when I'm going against something like the tub, I do like to shave the back. Now if this is a laminate, I'd use the jigsaw and I'd kind of angle it so that it cuts at an angle inside. But with my with vinyl plank, you can just take your utility knife and just angle that in. Could use a plane or two. Just whatever you want to use. Just try to get a little bit of a bevel there on the back. And the reason why I do this is so that you know for sure nothing's going to be touching the tub except for maybe up here. It just makes it so that you get a little better, a little better of a piece to put in there where you're not going to be up against the tub. Because you might, you're, you're, when you saw, when you use a jigsaw, it's a flimsy blade, so you could actually have the cut nice and even here, but down there it might stick out a little bit and hit the tub, and that's not what you want. You want to make sure if you're going to do it the way I'm showing you without a transition that you do get this about an eighth inch away so that it's not going to touch the tub. You want to have a little bit of gap. And if this is a tight area, this would be another situation, another area where we could plane and glue it. And I'm actually going to show you how to plane and glue this real quick because I get asked all the time, how do you do that with laminate, or not laminate, but do you do it the same way with vinyl plank as you do with laminate? I'm going to show you right now. Okay, this is a planer. I've shown this in other videos. But this is what I use on my plane and glue joints. And so all I'm going to do is take my planer and I'm going to plane this joint to take that lip off. Now this is a linoleum knife. You can get this at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's usually in the carpet section where the tools are sold at Home Depot. They cost about four bucks. One of my most favorite tools I use. This planer also is something that you can get in like the wood tool aisle where they sell big planers. You can find these little ones. They probably cost about five, six bucks. So we'll get this nice and clean. I usually use wood glue, but in this case now that it's a vinyl plank, I'm going to use super glue. This is Gorilla Glue at Super Glue. You can also use seam sealer, which you can buy um, in any of the flooring departments at the home improvement stores for a vinyl flooring. It's a, just a seam sealer. It welds it together. It's a little slower than super glue, and I'm not trying to put a ton in here. I'm just running a small little bead. I'm barely squeezing because you don't want it to squirt out. So I'm just running a little tiny bead. Now, just to make it easier, I'm going to also plane this joint. Run a little bead. 
bead in there. It's not much, again, it really isn't. So now I'm just gonna take this, I'll slide it in. I'm just gonna use a board to stick alongside the tub. Come on this side. If I need to get it together, I can just push it together with a pry bar, but I'm protecting the tub with this board. You can see how easily that slides in when the joint is plain. Stick this butt joint in. run tape, blue tape across these joints to make sure, but no one else is going to be in here, so I'm not going to do that, but a lot of times I'll run tape along these joints to hold them together. So that's how you do alongside a tub. You can go and take a peek now at the gap. Now I'm going to fill, I'm going to caulk that in. Well, it's going to be a silicone. I'm going to use a white silicone. We'll fill that all in and the silicone will give it some flexibility there so the floor can still move. Alright, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope I taught you something here or that you learned something or I showed you something new. If I did, could you please hit the like button below? It really helps me out with YouTube. Also, leave a comment below. Um, let me know what you thought of the video. But if you have a question that you really need asked, then go to my Facebook page, which I have a link below in the description and ask me your questions there. I really am able to answer those questions a lot quicker there. I get alerted sooner, so I'll be able to help you and not it be a day or two later. So, um, go check that out. Also, I have a link below for my website. Go check out Laminate University. That is where I have all of my premium content, my videos. I also have tile videos over on my website that you can check out, and they're all commercial free. Hey, I'm Joe Latender. Thanks for watching.